Well, that's the thing. We it was all new to us to be in that position. The Melbourne teams coached by Gorgian and were pretty much controlling those those top spots uh, at the time. So um, it was a big change, and it really changes your mind. So you do have to be on your game every single game because everyone's trying to knock you off more than normal. Yeah, I think just finding our feet again. We, we had a few changes after that 98 team. We lost uh, John Rilly, Dean Brogan, brought in David Stiff. Um, that was some big changes, but, and it took us a little while to adapt to that. But yeah, once we got going, we kind of found our way up to the top of the ladder pretty quickly. Well, I think that was a huge advantage when you look at the finals and for us to have home court advantage here, um, was such a, a massive advantage for us and, and probably was one of the big things that got us over the line, especially in 99 when it went to game three. We had to come back here and win it here. Um, I think that made a, a big, big difference. Well, it's always nice to beat Perth, isn't it? Let's be honest, they, they've dominated the league for, for so long, but yeah, we always had great battles against them and um, just at that stage in the 36s, um, journey, we kind of were getting the better of them just at that point in time. I mean, over the course of history, they've done pretty well against us now, but uh, at that point in time, we, we've done well. They were a very good team. Um, I think Brendan Joyce was the coach. Um, they had Sav and Matt Campbell, some other great players there, and they were playing very well, uh, very good basketball. And it, it did, it came down to the last bucket and, and Rupert found himself open uh, at the top of the key. First shot, I don't even think it hit iron. I think it just clanged off the backboard straight to David Stiff, turned around, bang, chucked it back to him. And of course he nailed it and sealed the game. And um, he's had some uh, very big plays in our, in our grand finals and, and semi-finals where he's uh, come up big for us. Just the momentum swing from that shot uh, gave us uh, a huge boost and yeah, we're able to get over the line and get through the grand final where we uh, yeah, came up against the Titans who we'd always battled with um, and uh, yeah, it was no different in the grand final. Oh, it's an absolute classic and I was telling you before that I've listened to both Paul Rees tell that story and Brian Gorge and tell his side of that half court tripping incident and uh, it's one of the funniest stories that I've heard um, from both of those guys and um, yeah I think that uh, it, it gave us quite a few laughs over the years. Yeah it was, I think winning the year before gave us a lot of confidence going into a grand final series against them, having that home court advantage. To win game one over there was huge. Um, then, But to come back here and lose game two, I think put a shiver up us because they beat the living hell out of us in game two and, and really wore us down. And there were some questions asked of how we would respond to that. And um, yeah, luckily uh, everyone stepped up in game three. Um, look, it's hard to remember, uh, in all honesty, but uh, we knew we had some things to work on and we had to get the game style of game three to come back in our favour. They'd slowed it right down and beat us up. We had to get out, we were a run and gun team and we had to get back to that in game three and we were able to do that for the most part, well enough to win anyway. I think right up there, uh, playing against one of Brian Gordon's team is that huge rivalry. Um, the crowd at that stage was huge, um, very, very loud and was a big part in getting us over the line, not only in the grand final but in that semi-final series. And uh, yeah, it, it, to reminisce and look back at that game and the way the crowd was, the winner at home rather than the year before where we won it away, I think it's kind of special to win a grand final series at home. Oh, it is, uh, and any sports person that's worth their salt will say it's, it's not about those individual um, efforts, but I think uh, a lot of players themselves judge themselves on how they perform in big moments and in big games, and so for me to be able to step up and play well in a grand final series was is kind of good from a personal perspective to be able to, to look at that, and KB had won it the year before and played spectacularly in, in that 98 championship. So yeah, it was a good personal moment for me. 
Yeah, I think it's good. It's good. It's it's a special moment in our history and the club's history. Um, and we're going to have the whole team back here. Darnell's coming over from the states, and um, yeah, to have the whole crew back together is going to be pretty special to relive that moment. But yeah, to see the uniform uh, running around on the court again, I think it'll be good. The old the old pinstripes and the logo uh, has a special place in all of our hearts.